Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The SBC pack code that everybody has been looking forward to is hopefully dropping today on FIFA 23, and that is the World Cup Hero Pack, right? We've been awaiting this pack in the game very eagerly since we saw the code dropped a couple of days ago, and you guys know what Mondays bring, usually upgrade packs of multiple different varieties, and today we expect to see that SBC pack. It's very likely, at the very least, to see this pack today. So I want to take a look at the market, how I think these World Cup heroes could potentially keep getting panic sold into that SBC today, how this SBC could continue to affect the market. And man, we need a day of good content. The past couple of days, and I think a lot of people share the same sentiment, that the content on this game is a little bit lackluster, and it makes no sense because literally the World Cup is going, right? We have World Cup games today and the world cup is started and the content of this game just feels a little bit dry on a day-to-day -day basis we need a big day like today to spice some things up so i want to take a look at that and also with the content being a little bit lackluster these fifa world cup path to glory cards that are in team number two in packs are skying because people are investing with nothing else to do in this game and not a lot of content these cards are going up but their prices are going to continue to move and we're going to talk about that in today's video and what else to watch for today on FIFA 23. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's run over the basics of this pack that we're expecting today just really fast. The 89 overall Max World Cup Hero, that's the pack we're expecting today. We usually get Icon or Hero SBCs on Mondays anyway. Now the question is, who's available in this pack? All of the World Cup Heroes that have been released on the game, except for five. Forlan, Baller, Papan, Lucio, and Colaire will not be in this pack because they are 90 rated or above. So that's, you know, target number one today. If you want to buy Forlan for your team or Voller for your team, these guys have been dropping off a lot, right? He was almost 800,000 coins yesterday, and right now he sits at 738. If there's additional panic selling on these big time high rated heroes today, look into getting them because they're really, literally not in this pack. So if there's panic selling, you know, I think there could be a good bounce there on those cards. But for the rest of the cards that are out there of World Cup heroes, we have Yaya, we've got Brolin, we've got Alawarian, Smolarek, who is still extinct on the market. EA need to fix up and update some price ranges. It's been way too long. This guy's been extinct. And like guys with Ronaldo, like can't even sell on the market because their minimum price is where the card is on the market. EA's got to fix up there. There's a lot of big heroes that are packable from this today, and there's going to be some legitimate hype on the game today for this SBC. Now, once again, we got to look at the current state of the fodder market because a lot of people are like, Nate, should I go and buy fodder? The way that it looks to me right now, a lot of people have already went and bought fodder. 80, 85s are even going up a little bit. 86s are slightly up. And the high tier stuff, your 88s, your 89s, all the way up to your 91s are still a bit expensive. Now, I don't like how fodder looks right now for the way that this SBC might be priced today on the game. I think about it, right? If you take a look at the value of some of the SBCs that are on this game, like Robbie Keane's SBC, the value of that SBC price has gone up so much because the fodder prices have been rising so much. I don't think that bodes well for today's content with this upgrade pack. It just means that EA are going to have to make it really cheap and be very intentional about making it cheap or else it's going to end up being a little bit expensive. And I think that if the pack is more than 250 or maybe even 300,000 coins today, which I hate to say that it would be that expensive, but we're around that threshold of could it be that expensive? Maybe because of the cards that are in packs and some really expensive foot World Cup hero cards that are in the game. If it's more than 250K, I think that that might hurt the fodder prices, except for maybe some of the really top tier cards. There's a lot of investing guys. There really, really is. But if this SBC is too expensive, then that's going to mean there's not as much demand for this pack. Um, but again, I, I feel like EA is going to have to make it very expensive for that to happen because let's be honest, this SBC pack has a ton of demand. So just to keep it safe, if you're wanting to do this SBC, just the same thing we've been talking about for the last couple of days. If you know going into today, you want to do this Foot World Cup Hero Upgrade Buy the cards that you might need to do it, probably some 85s all the way up to 88s, 89s. Get yourself a decent amount of fodder in the club if you need to do it. I really wouldn't say that there's a great investment opportunity here. I mean, the upside on these 88 rated cards is maybe they go to almost 30,000 coins if the SBC is a bit cheaper, but maybe has an 88 rated requirement inside of it. That's where I feel like the fodder could maybe go up a little bit today. But again, I'm a little bit skeptical. I know there's a lot of demand and a lot of hype for this SBC. I just know that also with how expensive some of these cards are in here, 
EA could very easily overprice it, especially with the current state of fodder. So I would be very careful with that. Don't buy too much more fodder than what you need. If you're already invested, then you're hoping that today is a day where the SBC is a really good value and it makes the fodder market jump up, which there's definitely potential for that. But it's just going to have to be one of those things where it's a, we're waiting on EA to release the SBC and we're going to have to gamble on that a little bit. I do expect to see fodder prices going up a little bit today into the content drop as people are preparing for this SBC. So the earlier you can get in, probably the better. Uh, you'll see these card prices probably go up a little bit as we get towards content there. So that's kind of everything you need to see with the fodder and the SBC side of things. Let's talk about these heroes on the market because a lot of their prices have dropped considerably over the past couple of days. I think about a brand new hero like Thomas Brolin, who was literally like 700,000 coins over the weekend. Uh, I think on Saturday was 700k and now he's four. 87. If you take a look at a lot of these hero cards, as we just did, you notice on their graphs that their prices are going down a lot, right? Let's take a look at Brolin. 487 right now. He was 700K the first day. Even yesterday on Sunday, he went from 560 all the way down where he is now at 487. Now, again, some of these cards that are in batch two, of course, have not been supplied that much. They're brand new to the game, and that could be a very big reason to why they're getting panic sold. Even guys that are out of packs, though, look at Cool. He was in Team 1. He went from 360 all the way to 407. This is like the lowest price that he has been since he was in packs, and, and he's out of packs now, right? So a lot of panic selling across the whole entire World Cup Heroes market. If you're wanting to trade today, if you have coins at your disposal, if you've sold your team, and you're like, Nate, I'm going to do the SBC today, but I also want to trade, watch the cards that are going to be available from this pack, especially this guy, Alois Rian. We know that he went up to 700,000 coins multiple times. His price, of course, is down. This is one of the most in-demand World Cup Heroes that is on the game if there's i'm talking about some pretty solid panic selling if there is solid panic selling today like let's say a is like 580 590 000 coins on the uh, combined playstation and xbox market right that'd be another considerable drop off cards like this are not gonna get packed that much let's be completely honest right your guys like yaya your guys like smolarek or marquisio uh cool dirt kite the more expensive players they're not gonna get packed that much govu as well would be a great option 560k right he was 700k over the weekend these cards in the panic selling today i'm gonna make a bit of a prediction here i'm gonna say that the best time to buy some of these is these guys is if you see a sizable amount of panic selling, we're going to need to buy before 6 p.m. content. Before the content drop today, whatever time it is for you, I think we're gonna have to buy before then, maybe even a couple hours before then. Watch the panic selling reach ahead and come to a point where people are, you're seeing these prices drop off a considerable amount. If the prices are not dropping off that much, there's a little bit more risk in that, but also at the same time, know that there's a lot of people that are waiting to buy some of these cards for their team on the higher tier, right? I would consider this Landon Donovan not too much of a higher tier hero card, right? Only 240,000 coins. The guys that I would consider more higher tier are your guys like Yaya Toure, like the Alawarian, or like the Brolin. Those would be good examples of cards that I would want to keep an eye on today. So if you see a lot of panic selling, that would be a great opportunity. Seriously, guys, I think this is going to be the best place on the market to trade today is with these World Cup heroes. If you time the fluctuations right, people love these cards because they're brand new, they're rare, they're hype, and they give good links in, uh, in the new chemistry system. So watch out for the panic selling there. I think the best bet, though, might be before the SBC releases for the top tier cards. Now, I'd be very careful with the lower tier ones, right? Like somebody like Yunberg. Somebody like, you know, of course, Peter Crouch or Clint Dempsey or maybe even Tim Cahill. I'd be very careful with these lower price guys because they're going to get packed more often out of this SBC, right? And that would mean people are getting these cards untradeable when they maybe had them tradable before. So I'd be very careful with those. But that is the biggest piece of content today. Now, also, in regards to the rest of the market, which we'll talk about a bit, there could be some tradable pack supply. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on our path to glories, which we'll talk about here in a second. But there could be pack supply today if there's two SBC sections. Let's say it's like an 85 and an 87 squad or something like that. You know, they might have two tradable packs from both of those individual segments in the SBC that could supply the market. So that's the big SBC for today. Now, other content we could see today, regular upgrade packs, right? Now, for some reason, EA's only been dropping upgrade packs for like two days at a time, and it's kind of annoying. 
And, you know, we wish, I wish that they would just drop them on a Monday and let them expire on a Friday like they normally did in years past. But nevertheless, we should have upgrade packs today. We've had player picks more often recently, so it might be time for EA to switch back to a regular upgrade pack. Usually they kind of come and go. They do player picks for a little bit, then they do upgrade packs. So whether it's a 78 plus or an, hopefully an 80 plus at least, maybe even an 80 plus double upgrade pack. I don't exactly know what all upgrade packs are in the code, but I would expect to see one of those dropping in the game today. If you don't have any um, uh, cheap golds in your club, you know, we still have live cards that are in packs, and these World Cup hero cards will be packable from upgrade packs. So go ahead and stock your club with some gold commons, maybe a couple of gold rares. Of course, the ones that are not that expensive, like if we go look at League One non-rares, these guys aren't expensive, right? Yeah, you can get them on bid for pretty cheap. Syria non-rares, pretty cheap as well, basically discard. So I would go through and stock the club if you plan to do regular upgrade packs today. The only other leak that we have for today is this pack, uh, or this player pick, I guess, that Foot Sheriff tweeted out yesterday. It was an 83 plus player pick. Now this is not like um, a repeatable one. As you can see, another Twitter account said non-repeatable. Yeah, it, it, this is not the type of player pick that would be unlimited repeatable like a regular upgrade pack. This would just be, remember how we had the 84 plus upgrade last week uh, or an 82 plus player pick the week before that. This would be like a one time, do it once, see what you get. Probably a little overpriced. Maybe like they might even require like an 83 rated squad for this. I wouldn't be surprised. But anyways, that should be a piece of content. And if it's not today, you know, maybe tomorrow on Tuesday. Also, we have this 86 plus team of the week player pack. I feel like that's more of a Tuesday SBC. Still could be today. We'll have to see uh, your lower tier fodder. I would say like 84s. 84s still are like a part of the fodder market that looks semi-decent right now. And I think that they're going to be rising up today. Low 2K range. If you can get 2K, 2.1K for some 84s on bid, I think that's a solid price, especially thinking about this SBC that may be coming out in the next day or two as well. So I do like that segment of the fodder, fodder market just a little bit more. Now, speaking of the market, right? Let's let's turn the corner here and talk market because the market's been kind of a crazy place, specifically on these Path to Glory cards. Since the content has been lackluster in the past couple of days, a lot of these World Cup Path to Glory cards are spiking like crazy. Literally yesterday at content, we had basically nothing. Yesterday's content was a flash SBC and a dynamic duo. And these Path to Glory cards are insanely, insanely spiked up and high in price because basically people saw there was no content and I think there's a lot of FOMO with these cards, right? There's a lot of fear of missing out on the potential profits. And people know that these live cards, they've seen team one, right? You look at some of these guys that are in team number one of Path to Glory out of packs and they're exploding, right? And that has people wanting to go and invest in this team too. Like the guys, these prices are going bananas. So if you got in and bought any of these cards, Big thumbs up, GG's, because you timed it very well. I have one Kyle Walker, and that's it, right? I've kept my coins decently liquid. What I have loved to buy, you know, some Cuti Romero's at 160K yesterday, even though that was an inflated price. Yes, would I have loved to buy Bruno Gimoresh at 280? I was even trying to snipe him, right? And I didn't win any snipes, and I kind of forgot about it and moved on to something else. But as a lot of you guys might be in the same situation as me, hoping for like another opportunity for these to drop a bit, to get invested before they go higher, today could bring that opportunity with that supply that we talked about. Now, also at the same time, today, like we all know, we have World Cup games that are happening. So with these cards being invested in, you also now are going to add in the possibility of disappointment and a team that underperforms or just the live aspect of these cards is now hitting and it's coming into play specifically with this this guy right here Kyle Walker and Jack Grealish England play the first game today you've got Senegal you've got Netherlands you've got Wales you have USA so Kyle Walker big game for this card Jack Grealish big game for that card you've got the young you've got cool the daddy um, and you've got Christian Pulisic uh, and then Ramsey's an objective. So a lot of cards today are live and are basically, you know, live and have an aspect to maybe be a disappointment, right? Let's say uh, this is probably what everybody would expect, but let's say Senegal end up losing today to the Netherlands. Right now, Kula Daddy is like 390,000 coins, and there's not a lot of expectation here. He is, he's only up about like, what, 30? He's up about 40K from his lowest point. But let's say Senegal score first today, you know, early goal, a little bit of a shocker maybe, and this card could absolutely fly and then De Young would drop off, right? This is where it's gonna act, these cards are gonna act a lot like the road to the knockout cards that we have seen already this year. If a team that is expected to win 
gets scored on, their prices are going to drop. If an underdog team that's not expected to win scores, their prices are going to go up because it means they're getting closer to that potential upgrade of getting out of the group. Now, remember, guys, the games that are happening today for these cards, it's all about getting out of the group. That's the first upgrade. If any of you guys are watching OTW cards like Bergwine, uh, this is a card that could upgrade uh, later this week based off of today's game. If Netherlands win the game today, this card will get an upgrade on Wednesday. The ones to watch upgrades is one upgrade, um, one one time singular upgrade for a win, right? It's not if Netherlands win today and that they win later in the week, he'll get two upgrades. It's only one win, one upgrade, and then no more upgrades for the nation that wants to watch player plays for. So just be very careful with those OTW cards too because the live items in this game right now are so, so, so inflated in price, especially those ones to watches. But with those guys being in game today, they're gonna be incredible to trade with. But like I mentioned, if you felt like, hey Nate, you know, we talked about yesterday and today being the buy time. Yesterday was a lot better of a buy time than it looks like today is going to be. Let's be completely honest. Uh, but if you see any of these card prices drop today with the supply of any packs on the game. You know, I still like a guy like Kuti Romero, seeing him right now, 190,000 coins. I mean, if we take a look at this graph, it's crazy, right? Look at this, 142K rising all the way up to 190, where he is now. Absolutely insane rise. If this guy goes back to 160, I'm getting in because I think this card's gonna be 200K later on in the week. Argentina win that first game you know, good things happen, price continues to go up. So that's the sort of thing I'd be looking out for is if the supply drops any of these guys on the market, the only one that I would recommend to you right now to not invest in or be very careful investing in would be Chucky Lozano because again, this card has compensation supply incoming uh, for it because it was uh, mistakenly not released in packs for the first couple of hours on Friday. So be careful investing in this card because it's got some supply coming its way. That's the only, I actually, and Kunku and um, is it Asmoon? There's like two cards here that were mistakenly released. No, no it's Bufal. It's uh, Lozano and Bufal. So be careful with those two guys because they've got more supply and coming. But watch these guy prices. They're probably just going to, maybe a little bit of a blip today, but then just keep going up because that is the state of this side of the market. Now, the rest of the market, if we take a look at guys like the Neymar, guys like the Mbappe, Neymar is 280K. These guys just keep dropping because, again, it's so weird that we can have two polar opposite markets at the same time with live cards for a World Cup that's happening right now for potential upgrades going up. But then the other part of the market, like this Neymar and Mbappe and other meta gold cards and, and informs, these cards are going down in price because people are fearing the worst with Black Friday upcoming. So that's why if you feel like you missed the boat with some of these uh, Road to the or Path to Glory cards, don't feel super bad about feeling like you have to invest in these or feel bad about yourself because you missed the buy time, right? Like I said, I only bought one. The only Path to Glory card that I have to my name right now is Kyle Walker. Yes, I got him for a very low price, but I'm just, I'm liking having some of my coins liquid. So at the same time, I can go out and trade with some other stuff on the market and trade with this panic selling on the rare cards. I'm looking to trade with some heroes today. I'm looking to trade maybe with some icons as well. I missed a really good bid on this Mateus at a million coins. I don't know how that slipped through, right? This card sells at over 1.1 mil literally right now. But that's the kind of thing that if you have your coins liquid and available, you have the ability to do that. Whereas other people that have invested in PTGs, they're kind of sitting and waiting with those cards on their transfer list for the opportune time to sell and they can't go out and make as many moves. So there's you know two sides to the coin here with those cards on the market today. But there's a lot to watch today. I mean, normally on Mondays, we see a nice market rise, right? I mean, there could be some cards that bounce back up today. Again, I'm just kind of watching some of the stuff that's been panic sold a lot that is really rare. Like this Govu hero card is really, really low. He was 240K yesterday, and right now he's approaching 200,000 flat. There is a lot of panic selling on this market, but if you find the right cards, like I was watching Reese James, his out of position card, he was like 80,000 coins just a little bit ago. He's about 80, looks like 82 at the moment, right? Um, you know, if this goes 5K lower, if we dip under 80K, I'll kind of be interested. So especially with England playing today, there could be some added hype there. So, you know, just that kind of stuff and watching your out of packs cards with big percentage point drop offs. That's where I'd be looking on the market today. And then last thing I want to just speak on really quick. We, we touched on it with the lackluster content at the beginning of the video. But I mean, EA, I tweeted about this yesterday and, and I feel like it was a very accurate 
description of what is going on in this game right now there is a lot of content nobody can argue that right this world cup content in this game is technically a lot and that's a good thing right but the way that they are lining this up and setting it out is they dropped so much content at the very beginning on that first friday dropped so much content that yeah if you get it all done it gives you not it doesn't give you the opportunity to get on the game every day and think about where's my next swap token what am i going to grind for as we're all trying to get swap tokens there's only 18 available in the game hopefully today maybe they somehow drop a couple more like ea if you would drop four more we would love it right because we need more tokens so that we can progress in the swap system and that's what people were so excited about is the swaps rewards are so great and so like amazing for this stage of the game but now we kind of almost understand why because ea is like not allowing us to grind those day after day um i mean yes if you don't play fifa like every single day you're probably still trying to catch up on objectives i mean I'm behind on the objectives too, but just the feeling of getting on every day and like knowing that there could be a possibility of a swap token SBC or an objective to go out and grind to get that done in the next day or two. Like that's what this game is missing right now. And I think a lot of people would have a different perspective on the content in this game if that's how they were releasing the tokens. Because right now we have had 18 tokens released in a week and three or four days, which was a ton at the very beginning. But now it's like, uh, I want to get my 84 times 20 times three EA sports. And I don't feel like I'm getting there because it's just slow going with the token. So that's the biggest, I think, disappointment with the game right now. I and mean, let's be honest, right in the world of video games, Warzone just came out. Uh, and that's a really, really big game as well. And I honestly think people may disagree with this, but I think that Warzone and the, the new patch on FIFA is kind of, you know, I'm thinking that this new patch has taken some people aback and have made people really not enjoy the user experience on the game as well. So I'm not here to sit and complain today. Uh, I'm just trying to talk logically about what I think is going on with this game and why I think the hype has kind of been toned down, which again, I do say this is the absolute worst time to have a lack of hype on the game because the biggest spectacle in the sport of football um, is happening and it's the World Cup. So hopefully things change around a little bit this week. We have a new promo coming on Friday. We have Black Friday. We've got new World Cup icons coming. There's a lot of hype for the end of the week, and that is for sure something we're going to be talking about throughout the rest of this week. But the hype starts with today, and I know today has a very good opportunity of being a W day of content. So we're going to be live streaming at all twitch.tv slash the foot account, link down below in the description. It's going to be a good day to make some coins and a good day to watch the World Cup. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have some questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.